I'm David Turner, this is Turner Bikes, turnerbikes.com, uh, and of course the Turner Bikes Forum on MTBR. The, uh, the DHR, no, uh, no major changes, you know, um, uh, we did a lot of work on this thing a couple years ago, and uh, all we did was change the color this year, same 210 you know, millimeters of travel, uh, it has two shock options, either the uh, you know, Kashima coated uh, DHX RC4, um, or we do the you know, RC2 with uh, no Kashima. Um, we can get it in raw. When you combine it with those two, the price is considerably lower. The uh, most expensive finish that we offer is the anodized, and of course this is laser etched, so it never changes. Um, we are changing the color for 2013, adding the orange. We do still have green, uh, black of course, and then raw. So 63 head angle. Uh, it was advanced. I noticed now that some of the other uh, so-called uh, downhill producers are moving their geometry closer to this one, lowering their bottom brackets, and uh, shortening up the head tubes. That's what it should have been. They all should have been, but you know, we were there. The thing is ripping still. Uh, people that ride it, for example, out at their demo on Monday and Tuesday, you know, we had a few of them out there, and everybody came back and said, I could have gone faster every single run. I never knew when the thing would end up, you know, giving up, so to speak. It was always the rider that gave up by pulling these levers here, so. Uh, this one, uh, you know, we got it outfitted and we'll be offering it as a complete bike with the Saint, you know, the new Saint kit. Um, you know, obviously uh, heavily r and d by, you know, some of the best guys in the world. Um, PD, Gwen, etc. Stuff works really nice, good ergonomics on the brakes, um, chill rotors, all good stuff. Five spot, um, five and a half inches of travel. Uh, last year, we put the ISCG tab on it, standard 142 by 12 rear axle, kicked out the heading a little bit, oversized for the tapered steer tube forks. Um, you know, it's got cable routing for the dropper posts, those that, uh, you know, still have the exposed line up here. Um, didn't really need to change it. I mean, you know, this is. This is where the market's at right now. Uh, nobody's doing anything better than this. The uh, the bike is solid. We've had uh, some requests for a little bit more oil capacity for the harder riders and longer downhill runs. Uh, so we offer the DHX Air or uh, the Monarch Plus in addition to the inline shocks like the Monarch or the uh, CTD shock from Fox, both with and without Kashima coating. The um, One of the options, it'll we're offering is the bigger fork on it uh, for the enduro crowd. You know, one thing that's uh, become apparent is that there's really a, a shift in how the bike is used. Uh, there's the guys that ride it more cross country. They don't use the ISCG tabs, but because we place the ISCG tabs in uh, a couple of millimeters, that way if you drop the chain, it doesn't bind. Some people are manufacturers are putting the chain guide mount right on the face and that ends up being a really bad bind if you do drop your chain without the guide and so for the trail rider uh, you know inline shock no chain guide standard you know tapered steer tube fork and an external bearing headset with like a 150 fork but for those who want you know the extra rigidity of the bigger fork um, you can put that on there. You can use an internal or an external headset. It does affect the geometry about a half a degree. So this one, it's a 160-36. You can also run a 34 on it. Uh, if you run the external lower race, you can run the tapered head steer tube. And then of course you have a slacker head angle by half a degree. You can run down to about 66 and a half. Um, actually with the 36160, you can run down to 66 degrees flat and still have under a 14 inch bottom bracket. Um, the 26 inch wheel bike, I know, you know, there's so much going on this year with the 27.5 wheels. Uh, certainly we've gotten a lot of response to our burner, but we've also heard from many people that they are not interested in the bigger wheels. They don't want the bikes to be uh, more stable. They want the uh, 
you know, the razor sharp handling, the quicker line changing, etc., of a 26 inch wheel. So we really see that the 26 inch wheel has uh, a lot of a lot of fans and a lot of uh, future. Um, in the enduro slash more aggressive riding, quicker edge to edge crowd. Uh, they, they, they not only can ride it, they want to ride it. So anyway, dropper posts. Uh, this obviously has way too long of a stem for this class of bike, but the, uh, but the options there. And of course, all you gotta do is ask and we can get you a shorter stem. Turnerbikes.com, right? All right, now last year, like the five spot, the Sultan got the uh, tapered com uh, steer tube compatible head tube, slacker angle, um, ISCG tabs for the guys wanting to run one or two ring setups, the uh, through axle, 142 by 12, no threads in the frame, uh, across the line, everything we do here, if you were to hit this thing terribly, terribly hard, there would be no damage to the rear trunk. Well, I guess there could be if you hit it really hard, but um, you know, if you really shredded this derailleur hanger, the, uh, the axle threads into it and the um, chain ring bolt uh, allows you to replace everything. So no, no big cost in replacing the rear end. ISCG inset, so if the chain does drop, it doesn't uh, jam up in there. Um, chains are getting more and more expensive, and I personally, on a prototype of this bike over a year ago, dropped the chain, jammed it between the ISCG tab, and basically twisted a few links. So, um, as all of our bikes so had for almost 20 years now, you know, grease fittings on the pivots. Um, that way if you live in a wet climate, you can keep flushing out the water and the grit. The uh, Sultan, 29 inch wheels, it's the quote unquote trail bike, all mountain bike, whatever. Uh, I think all mountains getting a little overused, but it's, uh, I think it kind of nails what this bike is. You know, you can climb on it all day. It's, uh, it's about the same weight as some of the other competitors, uh, 100 millimeter bikes, you know, in alloy, but has five inches of rear wheel travel. Uh, last year, you know, we did slacken out the head angle a little bit, being more um, a rough trail capable. Uh, you can put a 120 to a 140 fork on it. Uh, you know, 120 will give you a little bit more, um, you know, quick handling for guys that live in tighter woods, do a lot more climbing in tight conditions. Obviously, a little more open terrain. You can run the 140 fork. Um, RockShock now has up to a 140. Of course, Fox does in the 34 140. Uh, and you can even get that in a Talus. Um, you know, with the, the advent of the 27.5 wheel, there's a lot of confusion among some riders as to what's the right bike for them. And, I, you know, I'm really kind of tired of hearing about it. It's like, I, I, I can't answer that. It's, it's actually a stupid question. It's like, if you like punk, listen to punk. If you like apples, eat apples. I mean, I can't tell you what music to listen to, what fruit to eat. Just do what you want to do. Some guys will never ride anything smaller than a 29. They really like the bigger wheel. And you, there, there's no sense in even talking to them about, you know, why so many people are liking a 26 or a 27.5. You know who you are. If you like 29, the Sultan is an awesome trail bike for that. It rolls over stuff like a 27.5 and a 26 never will be able to. It holds its line in rocks, especially loose rocks. You know, 29s are amazing. Um, especially when you get into this travel class, it is, <laughs> it rips. Um, you know, you get out, like out here in the desert, uh, you know, you get like kind of a sand washy environment, loose gravel mixed in with rocks the size of, you know, hard balls up to, uh, you know, I don't know, softballs and stuff. And, and the 29er, it doesn't even acknowledge those kind of obstacles. Sultan, solid bike, you know, and it's been that way. And I don't see uh, the uh, 27.5 affecting it at all. Um, there's a certain type of rider that knows what they want. And this happens to fit a lot of those guys' bill.
This bike's actually in production. We just, well, just started production, and uh, we've actually had the early production bikes were in the demo fleet. They were the raw versions. These polished bikes were built earlier in the summer, and we had a chance to actually finish them. So we show this indoors because it's prettier than the raw under the bright lights of Las Vegas. But the uh, production bikes have ISCG tabs. They have the same derailleur hangers that for the last year or so have proven so successful with the, um, uh, you know, the five spot and the Sultan. The uh, chainstay length uh, is optimized for, you know, awesome tire clearance. This is, uh, this is a kind of an average size tire here, the, the Continental X-King, but uh, as you can see from the tire clearance, it'll easily fit the big tires from Schwalbe and Pacenti that are going to be over 700 and, well, they're claiming 713 millimeters in diameter. Um, so this will fit with mud clearance. The uh, bottom bracket is about, it depends on tire diameter, but it'll be roughly 13 inches. Um, which is a little bit lower than we've been running in the past, but uh, we've been playing, I personally have been riding the 650 wheels on various versions of this bike based on either 5-spot Soltons or prototype burners since uh, last winter. And we've done bottom bracket heights all over the place. And one of the things that's allowed us to nip a little bit out of the bottom bracket is the DW Link. The DW Link allows a little lower bottom bracket, just as we learned in the DHR a couple of years ago in development. So you can run a lower bottom bracket, and the link stabilizing the you know the bobbing based on your pedaling. Uh, so basically, it neutralizes some of that. So you can run a little bottom bracket, and like it's dynamically, uh, the bottom bracket is more stable than a lot of other designs on the market. Head angle on this bike is uh, 67 degrees for production. We tried it slacker. Uh, we, that's not just me, myself and I, that's me, my test guys. Uh, some of the guys work for me, some of the guys are locals. They, we ride everything from you know, average angles to Laguna Beach, uh, you know, really, really steep stuff. Um, kind of a, a range of rider skill levels. Top tube length got a little longer than what we've been doing in the past for any given size. And uh, please don't get freaked out, guys. Buy the size we suggest. Don't think too hard about the bottom, top tube getting longer. The reason it got longer was because, like in 2004, when I made the RFX with a longer top tube, it was because of the shorter stems. Shorter stems um, are nice. They work with wider bars. In fact, it works, you know, it's almost an, a necessary combination. Wide bars, short stems. Well, with the stems getting so much shorter, now people are sitting more and more upright and the effectiveness of weighting the front wheel is just starting to diminish, especially with the angles you guys are wanting to ride faster on the steeper terrain. One comment that we've heard over and over again starting on Monday at the outdoor demo and also in testing over the last several months is that it doesn't feel much different than the five spot for example, a 26 inch wheel bike. And a lot of people's perceptions come with the acceleration of the bike. How does it pedal? And in that case, they're correct. It is not much different than a 26 when you pedal it because the, uh, with the moment of inertia, the 27.5 wheel, 27.5, whatever, um, is actually closer to a 26 in feel. The, uh, you know, the further from the center or the axle as we get for a given amount of weight, the harder it is to get going. So a 29 inch bike like the Sultan is further from the 27.5. It's not a linear scale. Apples, pears, oranges, and bananas really depends on what your personality is, what you like. Um, you know, do you like to rock out to Led Zeppelin, punk, new wave, you know, whatever floats your boat. Bottom line here is the ride. We got to go for more rides, have more fun. Um, you know, yeah, families are important, work is important, but we're 
as mountain bikers need to ride and we need to pick a tool that makes it fun for us to go for a ride and when we get back we got to feel good about that because it's uh, it's healthy, it gets us jacked up, and adrenaline flowing, and all this good stuff. That's why we ride. So let's not lose track of what this is all about. To go for a bike ride and have some fun in the dirt, and pick the right tool, and you'll have more fun. And of course, Turner bikes are the best at having fun with. You.